Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Sheldon Schron. I own an ad agency and a film production company and uh, I'm a filmmaker. I use a lot of different gear all the time. Ended up buying one of these DJI mics when they came out. This has been used quite a bit and I love it and hate it. There's things to like, there's things I can't stand about it. I just had Comica offer to send me one of these to try out for a review. It's less expensive, like it's 200 bucks, I think, on Amazon. In some ways, I like it better. And in fact, I probably will use this more. I rarely need more than one, let alone two. And a lot of times I'm using a boom mic or something like this that's on set. I've got some shotgun mics. I run them in parallel, I'm running multiple cameras, multiple audio, that kind of stuff. But for a lot of stuff, this would be just perfect. They did give this to me. I get to keep it, but they didn't say we want a YouTube review, Amazon review. They just said, hey, man, we like your content. We like what you're doing. Maybe you can use this. We're going to send it to you. If you do review, great. If not, whatever. Um, but we just, just keep making cool stuff. And I was like, okay. And I've used a couple of their mics before and they've actually worked pretty good. I just, just as a heads up, I tried this before I did this review and I didn't find any difference between the audio quality between the DJI mics and this one. Identical audio quality between the DJI mics and these. Now there are some differences that you should be aware of. For example, these are plastic. In addition to the two transmitters and the receiver, you also get two lab mics that are worth probably 30 bucks a piece minimum. And you would have to buy those on the DJI mics. I have Sennheiser lab mics too, uh, AVXs, and the mics won't work on the DJI mics. I have to buy new mics for that. And, you know, I, I just haven't bothered to do it. I just use it with the, you know, clipped on or, or something like that. And then I use my AVX when I need to. These actually come with a really good lab mic. Now I tested this and again, it's the same quality as the DJI mic. I'm not losing anything. And in fact, what's cool is I can use these on my DJI mics. Instead of having a charging case, you have to charge it. I don't know why they don't just do USB-C to USB-C, but they got a USB-A to three USB-Cs to charge it all because these are all charged by USB-C. Almost all my chargers now are USB-C and, and my MacBook Pro is all USB-C. If I was to you, take this on the road, so I always have to have a USB-A brick or something around. I hate that. Come on, give us USB-C to USB-C. It's got a bunch of cables and that's really cool. The DJI mic shipped with a cable that gave all kinds of people's problems because it was junk. This looks like it's better quality and from what I've listened to so far, it's really good. It comes with two windscreens that clip on. They're kind of weird. Um, I gotta admit, <laughs> the way they work, these little rubber things, but they do work. There's your windscreen, okay? And here's your mic. And when you plug it in, this mic's automatically disabled, just like the DJI. What's nice about these two is that they're actually fairly small. So unlike the AVX, they're pretty small. And the clip on here is really good. It's a good quality clip. I mean, even my Sennheiser AVXs don't have a metal clip anymore. They got a plastic one that breaks all the time, especially in the cold. It drives me freaking nuts. So that's cool. Two free mics. I am going to show you the difference between this and the DJI version. Okay, so here's the receiver. Okay, you'll see these are plastic. If I, I feel like I dropped them on something hard in the cold, they'd, they'd probably break, which makes me a little nervous. Whereas the DJI, they're pretty bulletproof. I mean, they're super light. They're a little bit more bulky, but here's one of the things I do like about them. When I put the DJI mic into a cold shoe, it doesn't want to stay. DJI, fix that on the next generation. I had to buy these. So this is like a little, a little adapter here that has a standoff for the DJI thing. Well, these break. I've got these on Etsy. They just snap off. So I got these. They just break. They're useless. The clip itself is fairly small and it doesn't have enough tension a lot, especially on the R5 and some of the cage, the cultures in the cages. It'll just fall off. So it won't work. Whereas this, because it's got a really good quality spring on it, this kind of holds on. And it works a lot better for snapping onto anything. Like I can snap it onto a cable, any of that kind of stuff. Now, the only thing I don't like about it is that when I put it on like this in the shoe, I can't see the display. If you're if you're doing a selfie thing like this, or if you're running the camera, you can't turn it towards yourself and you can't turn it back towards yourself to have some confidence that it's actually getting a signal and recording. You can maybe see that on a monitor and there's no touch screen. You can't make adjustments like there's no touch screen. Everything's done through the receivers. There's like up and down buttons, you got to select the mode, click back and forth to get your gain going and things like that. And the rest is all automatic. In some ways, I like it more. In some ways, I like it less.
So let's start by plugging this thing in so we can hear this. I'm actually going to put one up here on this boom. Because you can actually mount these. These are meant to mount up here. And you can actually, I, I've seen ones where people actually take this Sennheiser mic or whatever their mic is, their shotgun mic, and plug it into the mic input using a cable. And they use it overhead. Um, or they use the, they use the, uh, this is a transmitter to go to the receiver to get a wireless boom. And that's interesting. Um, but let's just put this on here for now. All right. Let me find a better spot like that. Okay. So you can see it's a little bulkier than the DJI. But one thing about the, the DJIs is they're so heavy that they just want to flop around all the time. And I've had lots of occasions where I'll show you in a second where I put it on and it flops this way and the mic gets blocked and I've got you no know, the audio is crap because my shirt always wants to fall down this way or this way. You know, the magnet, same thing. They're so heavy. They're about two or three times as heavy as this, I'd say. And when you put them down here, they want to flop around too. So it is nice that you have the, the mic like this. And so now you're hearing the microphone coming through here and also here are both running at minus 6 db on mono so if i'm over here now it's just this one now it's just this one so now I'm, i could hook this up to my r5 or my c70 or one of our other cameras but i don't need to i think it's fine i am going to just plug this one in now i'm just going to pull this off i want to show you what the the screen looks like here let me see if i can show you so that's your display and then you don't have much controls here for volume or anything like that. It's pretty much all done through the receiver. This is pretty cool to be able to have the option to have this on here. Now, I'm going to show you quickly the difference between that and the DJI mic. Show you. Maybe it's got to be like that. And you can see the size difference. And this one is at least double, at least double the weight, half. The size it's a little larger than half the size and about the same thickness the dji has internal recording in it so it's got like a safety channel and safety recording so does this i don't i don't know what the gigabytes are i haven't got there yet but each of these receivers has the ability to record its own audio at the same time as the safety track you can initiate that from the receiver, or you can initiate that through here by clicking on this record button. The DJI does have the ability to use a touchscreen to access both units and do all this sort of stuff. But honestly, I never use that. I said it once and I never touch it again. You know, the transceiver on this one or the receiver, you have to go through a few different menu steps to get there as well. I think there's some automatic stuff going on in there that kind of you know, figures it out as much as some of us want to be able to control everything. In some cases, we mess stuff up more when we are trying to control everything and we're better off to just let the software do it. So I think for the type of market that's going to use this product, I think it's I think it's fine the way it is. And even for myself, I mean, I don't think that this is waterproof or anything else. I mean, I'll have to check. I don't know how I'd feel about having it in the rain or dropping it in water. Mind you, I wouldn't want to drop my DJIs in the water either, but you know, sweat, cold, dropping, things like that. I just feel like the DJI is a little bit better build quality. Who knows? Maybe they got some kind of like ABS plastic that, you know, like from motorcycle homes or something like that. And this is going to be super tough. I have no idea. But first glance, just not quite there. But man, does it ever come with a good uh, bunch of gadgets? In reality, I would say this is probably more like half the cost of the DJI mics because you're paying $200 at least right now. I don't know if they'll drop, but you're getting $60 worth of mics. You're, you know, minimum for sure, because they're good quality mics, uh, uh, lab mics. You're getting a really good quality cable, better than DJI supplies, another TPPS cable as well, which is probably 15, 20 bucks for a decent one. So all in all, you're getting, you're getting some good value. I would say that if you need a system like this, and you want to save a bit of cash, it's a good way to go. If I was doing it all over again, I'd just probably buy these and not buy the DJI. In fact, it's entirely possible because I have a lot of other mics that I might end up selling the DJI mics and just keeping these because they are a little more convenient. They are a little lighter. They come with these. They're pretty simple to use. 
That's about it. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. And if you want to check out these here, there is an affiliate link down there and to Amazon to buy it. And if you do buy it, I get a little small like commission, maybe like 5% or something like that. But it all helps out and I'd appreciate it. Check it out. Comica Boom XD Pro. All right. Cheers. Bye.